Hello neighbors and welcome back to the channel. I am Ariana and I am the therapist next door. So today's video is actually going to be a continuation or a part two of my coming out video. So if you haven't watched that one yet, I'm going to link it here because you may want to go and watch that one first. It'll give this video a little bit more context. Since filming my coming out video, it's been a little over a month and there have been some updates and some things that have happened that have been kind of challenging and I wanted to be honest and realistic for anybody else who might be thinking about coming out or who has to normalize those experiences. In all honesty, there have been close family members that are having a hard time with my coming out and they've either let me know that directly or indirectly which has actually been a little bit more hurtful for me. And then on the other hand, there's been a lot of people that have really come through with support from unexpected places whenever you go through something difficult in life that is something that tends to happen which is you realize that there are people out there that are really there for you that maybe you didn't realize were and then you also unfortunately have to deal with being disappointed by people that maybe you would hope would be there for you but aren't in the way that maybe you would have wanted so as i said some of my family members are having a hard time with with my coming out and I'm not really 100% certain of what all those reasons are because as I said they haven't been shared with me. But what I did want to share is more about how I'm reacting to that and the choices that I'm going to make as a result. One of the benefits of coming out when you're a little bit older is that I really know myself. I've worked really hard to be authentic, be honest with myself, and really love myself for who I am. I'm human and of course it hurts me when somebody doesn't like me for whatever reason, but I don't really let it get to the core of me unless it's really feedback that's coming from a place that I really trust because I really am solid in who I am. What I've realized is that a lot of the feelings of sadness or disappointment that other people are having in reaction to me coming out as bisexual are really not my issues or my problems. I mean, they're not at all. They're actually those people's problems or issues because I am not the version that they wanted me to be or that they think I should be. And so for me, it's been very liberating to know that that's not my problem. It's obviously sad that family members can't be happy for me or accept me for who I am, but I know that that's their journey or situation to process and not mine. I've made the decision that I'm not going to be the person to necessarily walk them through that process because I really feel like they need to take ownership for that and get support and help or take whatever time they need to work on that. And right now what I really need is people that support me and love me for who I am. And so my hope is that things will get better with time and maybe even with some difficult conversations conversations. But again, I really wanted to make this video because I wanted to be honest about what the aftermath has been and what the experiences are that I've been having since I did come out to my family. I just think it's important to be honest because it's probably similar to what a lot of other people might experience and it's not easy. But I think it's really important to process this with people that you trust and that you love, with therapists, with coaches. That's been really helpful for me. It's been really, really helpful to be able to share what I'm going through and have people just show up for me and check in on me and ask me how I'm doing. That has been really helpful. So that's one thing I would definitely encourage is don't go through this alone. Don't hold your feelings and make sure that you have some people that you can talk to that you feel safe with that can really support you because there might be things that are going to look different for me in the coming weeks or months. I may not be able to spend as much time with some of the people in my life that are having a hard time with my coming out because for me I'm going to choose not to go into spaces where I just don't feel fully loved or accepted for who I am and I'm okay doing that because I feel like I have a strong network of people that I've cultivated and created and so while yes it's sad that there will be 
some of that distance, I'm okay with doing that in the hopes that that will change over time. Now, not everybody makes that choice and I think that's just a very individual choice that people have to make for themselves, but that's where I'm at right now. That is an honest update. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know if this is something that you're going through or you may be going through and I'd love to be able to provide support to anybody else out there and having people in your life that love and accept you for who you are is such a gift and I'm so so grateful for that. I'm choosing to focus on having those connections in my life than on the connections that I don't currently have. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. As always, I will be back with another new video every week and I will see you all soon. Authentically yours, Ariana.